It was a movie. And somebody told some of the students, I think we ought to go to the movie and not go back to school. So we did. Prof wanted to know uh, where was everybody, and somebody let the cat out of the bag towards the movie. And then some snitch, I don't know who it was, <laughs> told uh, Prof, oh, they all went to the movie. And Prof came to the movie. He came in that room and ran up out back right to here. <laughs> we wanted to run, but it was just one way out, so we just sat there. Yeah. Doyle was the center of this community. It, it was not just the academic center of this community, it was the cultural center of this community. One good thing about being at Doyle uh, it instilled a, a true sense of community. I was a nobody, because nobody knew me, and now I'm related to everyone. It, it was a, a sense of community that I had when I was there at Doll that I've never had since. What was it like being up underneath the direction of B.T. Wilson? Being under the direction of Mr. B.T. Wilson? Mm -hmm was something that you could never, ever forget. Mm. Prof was a man that was before his time. He... Prof was that kind of principal that everybody loved. He was. And B.T. Wilson opened up the window and he said, Bobby, Bobby, come in here, Bobby. He was dynamic. He definitely instilled a sense of trust, a uh, sense of faith, and a, and a desire to do uh, as much as you possibly could uh, as you move forward. Nell Nash. My name is Raymond Hardy. My name is Peter Pollard. I was the last class to uh, graduate from, from Doyle School. My name is Deborah Lewis Shaw. My name is Sylvia Payne Lewis. Well, thank you for helping to bring those members focused.